as a leader, do you actually know that Tim Wood is out to get you? Yes, the guy that makes you deliver late, screws up the quality of your product or service, and sucks up your gross profit. Everyone hates what he does. Your staff, your financial director, your production manager, your health and safety team. He's good at always shifting the customer blame back to you. Can't you see Tim Wood? You see his damage every day though. Tim Wood is a mnemonic for the main wastes that affect your processes. Waste is work that doesn't add any value to the product or service. Enters Tim Wood. T stands for transport. I for inventory. M for motion. W for waiting. O for overproduction, the other O for overprocessing, and D is for correction of defects. I want to show you how to see Tim Wood with the three-part series. In this episode, we look at wastes in operations. In the next one, we look at wastes in administration. And in the last video, wastes in leadership. Yep. Hello, this is Pierre Bienvenue from MP. We are here to help remove anxiety from leadership as they gain greater clarity and control. Within Walking Distance is a series giving tips, tools and reflections for leadership. If you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the links relevant to this video that you will find in the description box below. MP. So let's spot wastes in production or operations. First, let's define waste. That is all work that doesn't create value to the customer. The customer can be your external customer or the next process. Ask yourself the question, is the customer willing to pay for this work? If not, then it's waste. The concept was articulated first by Taishi Ono in the middle of the last century on his way to create the Toyota production system. This is what he wrote. All we are doing is looking at the timeline from the moment the customer gives us an order to the point when we collect the cash. And we are reducing that timeline by removing the non-value added wastes. So everything that adds unnecessary time to the process is waste. Waste elimination is at the heart of lean. As I explained in Within Walking Distance 6, what is lean? Ono identified the seven main wastes in mass production. And there are more. Now, this also applies to the creation of intangible products like software, marketing assets, or architectural projects. This is the order Ono presented to them. Overproduction, producing ahead of what's actually needed by the next process or customer. That is producing at a rate exceeding customer's demand. You produce more than is needed, faster than needed, before it's needed. It's the most con controversial waste. Production managers love long runs and they will always argue for overproduction until they experience with quick changeovers. Then they start to see the value of flexibility. Overproduction is called the deadliest waste. Producing just in case increases the other wastes. But of course, there can be tactical or strategic reasons to overproduce, but just in case, is not acceptable. I'll come back to overproduction after I've introduced the seven other wastes. The next one is waiting. Operators standing idle as machines cycle, equipment fails, needed parts fail to arrive. Waiting for information from upstream department or the customer or leadership. Next, transport or conveyance, moving parts and products 
unnecessarily. Second example, the output of a processing step is transported by forklift to a warehouse and then from the warehouse to the next processing step, when both steps could be located next to each other. Time, energy, driver wage, equipment, cost and maintenance are consumed. Then, other processing, that is redundant effort. In other words, performing unnecessary or incorrect processing, typically from poor tool or product design. Other examples, quality control activities, double data capturing, searching for information. Maybe a process is too complex and can be simplified. Elon Musk famously said, the best process is no process. It weighs nothing, costs nothing, can't go wrong. Next, inventory. Having more stock in excess of process or demand requirements. It could be in your inbound warehouse, between processes or in various finished goods stores. Your financial manager should agree here. The best inventory is cash in the bank. Additionally, you have to pay for the storage space. The next waste is motion. And that is any movement of people which does not contribute added value to the product or service. Operations making movements that are straining or unnecessary. Looking for parts. Working to fetch tools, um, searching information, etc. If you can't see motion as waste, then your employees get tired or even injured for not creating any value. Daishi Ono observed that the only time motion was adding value was in the zoo. Finally, correction of defects, inspection, rework, and scrap. Do you know the saying attributed to Melvin Conway? There is never enough time to do it right, but always enough time to do it over. Bad quality is a time waster and is very costly in material, consumable, labor, wear and tear of equipment, management frustration, and customer dissatisfaction. Okay, let's go back to overproduction. Why is it the deadliest of the seven deadly wastes? When you overproduce, you commit capital now for something you are not selling now. Raw material needs to be replenished. Consumable are used. Your team is producing something not needed now when other bankable orders may be waiting for the overproduced job to be completed. It frustrates the sales team and irritates the customer. Longer lead time is a result of overproduction. It affects cash flow and it increases risks of error since we need to hurry to meet deadlines for other orders. Haste makes waste. Since the product is not being used Hidden quality defects may only be revealed in a few months after production. The finished goods stock doesn't move and takes space in the warehouse. Sometimes it needs to be displaced to access other stock. Obsolete stock will be written off. So much effort put into throwing away overproduced stock. So overproduction is slack management and is usually very costly. Okay, that's team word for operations. Transport, inventory, motion, waiting, overproduction, overprocessing. D is correction of defects. The general idea is to spot and eliminate wastes rather than working your assets and people harder. I met several good quotes in this episode. This is the important one for today's topic. Taishi Ono wrote, All we are doing is looking at the timeline from the moment the customer gives us an order 
to the point when we collect the cash. And we are reducing that timeline by removing the non-value added wastes. Isn't this beautiful? If you are one of the first three people able to identify the location of this view, you can meet with me for a free hour of leadership coaching. Just write the location in the comment section and send me an email at wwd at mp.solutions. Also, you may have a need to improve on your leadership skills. Turn them into good habits. Or you need support to eliminate wastes in your organization. I can help you. Feel free to connect. I'll be posting the next episode on wastes in administration in two weeks. In the meantime, lead well your team to best team wood.